G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be having a look at in this video is a way of working out percentages. Okay, this is from a uh, fraction or something like this. Okay, because percentages are just a measure of a number out of a hundred. Okay, so we're going to look at how to do this. Now, first off, I think it's really, really important that we actually get this definition of a percentage down pat now because I think this helps a fair bit. Now, if you understand what percent means, you'll do pretty good. Percent has two parts to it has this part here, the per, and then we have cent. Now per means out of. Okay, just uh, something out of something else. And this cent here, well cent means a hundred. Okay, there's a hundred cents in a dollar. Or there's a hundred years in a century. Most of you guys will, have, will know what a cent is and there's a hundred cents in a dollar. So it's a really, really easy thing to remember. The percentage symbol looks like this. Okay, it almost looks like a hundred, which has been uh, <laughs> reorganized, if you can imagine this being a one and with two zeros here. Okay, maybe I'm taking a little bit too far. Okay, so we're going to work it. We're going to be working how to uh, work percentages out. So, let's say, for example, we want to work out what is 15 out of 60. We want to work what this is as a percentage out. Now, the easiest way of doing this is this means, first off, this means 15 divided by 60. I think some people get thrown by this line here. What we do is we get this number here and we times it by 100 over 1. Okay? And this is how we change it into a percentage. Now, what do we do then? Well, we just treat these like any other thing where we're multiplying fractions. When we multiply fractions, we're going top number times the top number and then bottom number times the bottom number to get our answer. Okay, so... 15 times 100 is 1,500, and this is going to be divided by 60 times 1. So 60 times 1 is 60. Now what we can do is we can cancel out uh, numbers, okay, or like uh, there's zeros are going to cancel each other out, okay, because 10 is going to go into both of these. So we end up with a number of 150 divided by 6. Now 150 divided by 6 is 25. Okay, so 25 percent. So 15 over 60 is 25 percent. Now, if we use that, just, just before we go on, if we actually use that idea of cancelling out numbers, we can look at a number here that goes into, uh, into both of these. So 15 actually goes into both of these, yeah? 15 goes into this one once, and it goes into this one four times. So we would end up with a number a quarter. And a quarter is the same as 25 percent. If you can imagine quarter of a dollar, it's 25 cents, yeah? So it's a, it's a nice way of thinking. What you also might realise is this quarter here, 4 times 25 actually gives us 100. And this is a, a bit of a common theme uh, with with this number over up here is 1, okay? So this is the way you work out percentages. How about another example? What about we um, have a look at... I'm just going to be using some easy examples today. So uh, we what about we have a look at the number I said before? What about we have a look at... 35 over 70. So what do we do with this? You might be able to look at straight away and go, well, the number 5 and then the number 7 goes into both these. In fact, 35 goes into both numbers. It goes into here once and this one twice. So this is actually the same as a half. But let's treat it as we're just trying to work out percentages here. So we times it by 100 over 1. What does this equal? This equals 35 times 100 is 3,500 divided by 70 times 1. So 70 times 1 is 70. And we can cancel these zeros out. So 0, 0. And the number 7 goes into both of these. It goes into, actually, well, that will tell us what our answer is, won't it? 7 goes into 350 50 times. Okay? Our answer is 50%. And again, to, to say what I said before, 35 goes into this once, 35 goes into 70 twice, so a fraction up there is the same as a half. So a half is the same as 50%, yeah? Uh, you might again also notice that 2 by 50 is 100. Um, half of a dollar is 50 cents, okay? Uh, there's a really, really great relationship between these ones, okay? So it's, it's a really great thing for maths to understand. I think it's one of these recurrent sort of themes in maths. Um, so let's have a look at a couple more examples. What about we have a look at this example? A bit of a harder one this time, nothing too taxing. We're going to do 16 divided by 20. And so to turn this into a percentage, 
what are we going to do? We're going to times it by 100 over 1. Okay? So, 16 times 100 is 1,600. And we're dividing this by 20 times 1, which is 20. Okay, we can cancel these zeros out to start off with. And then we have 160 divided by 2. Now, 160 divided by 2 equals 80. So our answer is 80%. Now, just to, to do what I've been doing before, the number that goes into both of these, well, 4 goes into both, it goes into this 4 times and this one 5 times. So our actual, we can't, then any, no, nothing else goes in there. So our fraction that this is, is 4 fifths, okay? We can't actually do this uh, any further, okay? So, but 4 fifths of a dollar is 80 cents. If you can imagine 1 fifth dividing it by 5 is uh, 20 cents and then times it by 4 is 80. So this is a correct answer. Okay? So this is 80%. Let's uh, just go one last example. Hopefully you're going really, really good with these and you're getting a degree of understanding with this. What about we do 9 over 20? Hopefully when you do your... Uh, percentages test you'll get better than 9 out of 20 you'll be really really good at it and you'll actually get 20 out of 20 and you'll get 100% yeah because 100% is everything but let's have a look at 9 out of 20 sorry for daggy percentage sort of comment there uh, so we're going to times this by 100 over 1 to turn it into a percentage and then what do we do you'll remember that 9 times 100 is 900 1 times 20 is 20. What can we do next? We can cancel out these zeros, yeah? And we're going to end up with this 90 divided by 2. Now 90 divided by 2, if you get 90 and you cut it in half, you're going to end up with 45%. Okay, this one, funnily enough, we actually can't take down anymore. There's no common number that goes into 9 and 20, except for 1, and that won't actually really change our uh, fraction here. But our answer is 45%. Okay, which makes sense because 9 is a little uh, less than half of 20, okay? So we should expect, a, an, an, an half is 50%, so we should expect an answer a little bit less than 50%. And so this is a, a good answer. Now anyway, uh, hopefully you're really, really good with these. I'll put some links up for other percentage things I've got. Uh, it's really worth checking out, especially if you're just starting out with these. But I hope that helped a fair bit. Okay, see you next time.